Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing that tag that's been going around, the Fantasy $1,000 Sephora cart tag. So if you don't know what that is, this was actually started from Emily Noel. I think I've been watching her since I was 14 years old. She is an amazing creator here on the platform. She always comes up with very creative ideas and she's just chill. I enjoy her videos. Obviously, you probably know her. She's amazing. She's one of the few larger beauty people that I watch. And and I will continue to do so. She always comes up with a really fun idea. This one was so fun. I had to do it. Basically, you pretend you had a thousand dollars to spend on Sephora, no consequence at all, and you fill your basket up with a thousand dollars, and then we talk about what would be in our basket. So if you want to see what is in my basket right now, my mom saw it and she was like, "Girl," <laughs> I was like, "It's for a video, mom. <laughs> Just keep watching." <laughs> So the first item that I added in my bag was only $20. For the most part, I was like, ooh, I need to get a lot of luxurious stuff, you know, there's no penalty. But one of the things that I really wanted was this, the Original Makeup Eraser Peach Makeup Eraser 7-Day Set. So I've actually never used the makeup eraser, but I always love trying new ways to remove my makeup. And this one is very popular, it's been around for a long time, but basically it's a cloth, so you get it wet and then it's supposed to just take off your makeup and then you can throw it in the wash. I like this one because it's peach, so it's cute. And then also you have a whole set for seven days. It's a lot better for the environment. And honestly, I'm shocked that I haven't used this before, but it's definitely on my list to purchase. And $20 really isn't bad, so I might actually really need to purchase that. Which, by the way, I've decided I'm no longer on my low buy. I, um, I'll talk about that probably later in another video. So I've been picking up some stuff, not really that much. I learned a lot from my low buy. But anyways, I want that original makeup eraser. I think that's really nice. So that's $20. By the way, my whole basket right now is $973. So I technically could add another item, but with tax and stuff, it'll make it to a thousand. I think something was removed out of my cart because I did this a couple days ago just from being out of stock. So the next item, I don't think I would actually ever shell out the money to purchase because it's something I don't need at all. But if I had a thousand dollars to spend, I would pick one up. And these are the Tom Ford Extreme Lip Spark Lipsticks. If you've seen these in stores they look how they look in the photo the bullet is sparkly and glittery and beautiful I put the shade dazed in my cart which is a red with a blue metallic shimmer I mean I would get any color if I could I just thought that one was probably the most unique this will give you more so of a metallic finish on the lips not necessarily what it actually looks like on the lipstick but I just really want one but it's $55 so I would never use it so I would never purchase it for myself but it's always something I eye in store really Really stunning and the packaging gorgeous the next item is from Patrick Ta this is $22 and this is the major brow shaping wax now honestly I don't have a deep desire to own this but it's something where I want to own it if I didn't have to buy it it's supposed to just you're supposed to like just you know like so brows it's supposed to keep your eyebrows in place maybe give them a little bit of fullness if I could I would pick it up just to have it a lot of people seem to love it I have had similar products to it it's not really as new of a concept as everybody thinks that it is and they really work and I don't doubt that this one doesn't work but I definitely just want it just to kind of add more Patrick Top products to my collection. This next one is something I so totally don't need and would never ever purchase for myself, but as I was filling up this cart, I was like, kind of want it though. And this is the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. This is $35, and the reason that I was interested in it was I heard how horrible the original setting spray from them was, but this one sounds good. A Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. I prefer a hydrating setting spray, and I don't need this. I have a lot of setting sprays in my collection. Huda's not really a brand that I love, nor do I even like coconuts. Why did I? Yeah, this would definitely just be a frivolous purchase, but I kind of wanted it, so I added it to my cart. Wow, okay, so this one has sold out recently. Why? Because I really actually am going to get it very soon. So this is $53. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in the shade The Sophisticate. I did just recently do a whole collection review tutorial video on my Charlotte Tilbury quad collection, and this was one that is on my wish list still to get. It's an all matte quad. I have the Desert Haze, which is really warm, but I really want this one because it's much more cool and I like to pair it with other Charlotte Tilbury quads and also her matte formula is thebomb.com. So this is on my list to purchase so 
I added it in my imaginary shopping spree because I want it and I will complete my collection one day with that one. The next one that we have is $27. This is the Marc Jacobs At Lashed Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I don't pick up too many mascaras because I really do get the heebie-jeebies when it comes to having too many mascaras open at once. I have a large collection of mascaras right now waiting to be open. I don't really keep up with mascara and new releases except for the Pat McGrath which I will purchase but I really wanted this because I liked the collection that this came out in and then also I really love the packaging of this. I heard good things about this mascara and I was going to get it because I wanted the newest trend mood box. I've never got a trend mood box before but I wanted the newest one because this was in there. I didn't get it so I'm not getting this mascara. Yeah this is on my list of mascaras to try eventually down the road. You know I am a proponent of drugstore mascaras but I also I also like high-end mascaras as well and this one looks gorgeous and I would love to try it. The next item that I added to my cart took up 10% and this is $95 but I am interested in trying it. Not enough so to actually purchase it but this is the La Mer the Radiant Skin Tint. I really like La Mer's base products, the few that I've tried because obviously they are a very pricey brand and this has one star. <laughs> very interesting. I would never pay $95 for a skin tint. That is crazy though that being said, right now I'm wearing the Dior Forever Summer Skin, which basically is a skin tint. But I want to try this because I feel like the skincare elements in here have to be amazing and really great for summer. As my skin has improved, I've definitely been wearing lighter weight makeup. So this has caught my eye. I will not ever purchase it probably because I'm not going to spend $95 on something that's not going to give me coverage. But it was fun to put it in my cart. Even that felt empowering. This is $49. I added the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet Eyeshadow Palette. Truly just out of pure curiosity. I didn't purchase this for a reason. It didn't catch my eye. I didn't feel the need to spend my own money to own it. But of course it is something that I am curious about and if it was given to me for free, I wouldn't complain. I haven't bought a Naked Palette since the Heat Palette and that was the first one I bought in a really long time. Time. I still kind of want the honey palette though because a lot of you guys said that one was good but for the most part I've steered pretty clear of the newest Urban Decay releases. I just want it because it's purple and for me I do have kind of a collection mindset if you didn't notice and as far as my channel and keeping myself educated this is a product that I would like to have to keep myself educated on. Okay so this next item I already have talked about. I didn't realize that I put it on my list twice but this is a different color. So this again is the Tom Ford extreme lip spark lipstick but the color that I put in was Firestar which is an orange with gold metallic sparkle and the reason I put this color in is because I'm scared of oranges I really don't care too much for orange lipsticks on myself I try a lot I do purchase orange lipsticks so I certainly would never purchase a $55 glittery lipstick in orange but if I got a $1,000 gift card I would purchase this color because I want orange to work for me so hard <laughs> oh yes you guys this is an amazing one this is $95 it's from La Mer again as well and this is the La Mer the powder so I have this in my collection already but honestly it is so old and I treasure it I rarely ever use it only for special occasions it's my favorite powder ever mm, it's expired I know it is so I heard that the formulation changed and also the amount of products that you get in this as opposed to the old product change. You get less with this new one. I still want it though. I love this powder and I know I need to throw out the old one and repurchase a new one but $95 really really hurts. But I love this powder. It's so beautiful you guys. Highly recommend. If you have the money look into it. Next we have a foundation that I have always been curious about. So many people love this foundation and I was so close to getting it one day but it made the shipping of my packaging take too long and I was just like no I don't want to deal with that. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. I literally just heard this was amazing and I have a soft spot in my heart for Shiseido because Shiseido was one of the first makeup and skincare brands that I actually got into. I was very very young. I was looking for something different for my skincare because I got into skin 
skincare and a skincare routine when I was very young, you guys. I mean, I'm talking like 14, 15. And so I purchased one of my first luxury skincare line products from Shiseido. And then I also got some cream eyeshadows from them when I was really young. I got like this blue one and a green one and I treasured those as well. So I really have a special spot for Shiseido. I haven't purchased anything from them recently, but this is definitely a foundation that when it came out, I missed out on, but I still deeply want to try it. And that is $47 if I didn't mention. So these next two items, they're the same item, but I wanted two different colors for $34. So this is the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. I do have a whole review. I purchased one of these and I love it. And now I want more because now that I've seen the colors online based on videos now, I can see that they will work for my skin tone and I enjoy the quality so much. I want two more colors. They're both sold out right now. So people have very good taste. But eventually, maybe next for a VIB sale. I have my eyes on these. I want this shade Do We Know Her, which is a peachy coral, and then She's So LA, which is a bronze nude. Ooh, I really want that She's So LA color. I'm very, I want them. Next VIB sale, they are mine. I have the pink one, and I love pink, and the color is so beautiful and fresh on my skin, but I want more now. Okay. I've also been hearing a lot about the brand Tower 28 a lot. So in my car, I did add this Beach Please Tinted Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Magic Hour. This is $20, which is not too bad. They actually have a lot of items in their line that I'm interested in trying. This is the one that made it because I love cream cheek and lip products. I think they're so beautiful, especially for the summer. So out of curiosity, I did add this to my list. Okay, so you guys are definitely going to be like, I can't believe you don't have it. But this one I've talked about about before. It's been on my list for a long time to purchase. I've just never bit the bullet and done it. Uh, this is the Visi Art Theory eyeshadow palette in the shade Amethyst. I believe they are discontinuing it, which is why I kind of haven't purchased it because I won't be able to talk about it with you guys. I would have bought it really for no reason other than personal use, and I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> it's a Visi Art palette that's purple, and that's all I'm gonna say. One of my favorite brands, my all-time favorite color in a palette, I still kind of want it. It's $45 and I probably should have got it while it was on sale for like 50% off or something. I don't have it yet, but I still want it. Okay, so this one I put on my list and now that I'm looking at it, I don't really want it on my list anymore because it's not technically my shade, but if they had my shade, I would still want it. This is the Natasha Denona Sculpting Glow Face Highlighting and Contour Glow Palette. It's on sale right now for $44 and I really want it, but it I just noticed it has only the medium dark shade, which is not gonna work for me. I think she's getting rid of her big palettes like this. I think she's found her success in her smaller, more compact palettes, those little quads. But I still want this. I still want to own these products. And if they had my color, I probably would have purchased it already at this point. I think she has a really nice cream formula and this is something that I was very interested in purchasing. Kind of also another hyped up product that I never jumped on because it's a lot. It's $48 from Tatcha is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I know they have a more affordable one. Again, I've just never bit the bullet and purchased it, but people love it. I love a dewy skin mist and it's just something that I never got around to buying, but you know, if I had an unlimited basically amount of money, I would purchase it. Why not? I also have a color of Gucci lipstick that I really want to own. They, they have a lot of lipsticks in their line. I just randomly picked one. Gucci has one of the most beautiful formulas. You guys, I have three. And then my mom purchased a few others just like a couple weeks ago. And I really fell in love with their formula. It's just so smooth. It's so expensive. A lipstick is $42. But I really want this Linda Beige shade. Honestly, I can't remember if my mom purchased this one or not. I hope she did because I'm not... I'm about to steal it. This looks so beautiful. It's described as a creamy apricot beige satin. Now, as I look through the colors, I certainly think that I could find others that I want. I tried to keep it to a minimum though because choosing colors can be a bit overwhelming. But these nudes make me want to hyperventilate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why do they have to be $42? Because... I want to splurge on a bunch of Gucci lipsticks right now. They're so good, you guys. So luxurious. 
overpriced probably but like they're so good okay also a newer release that I passed on due to my low buy is the Fenty Beauty slip shine sheer shiny lipsticks I, I don't feel bad about missing out but there is one color that I would like to pick up based on the reviews that I saw and just kind of to own for summer and this is the shade makeup breakout it's just a latte nude and I feel like it's something that I would just throw on very easily it would be beautiful in the summer so I definitely plan on purchasing this the next Sephora VIB sale. Can you believe I'm already planning this? But yeah, I really want that color and I like having at least one item of each formula from a collection if it's possible so that I can at least speak on the formula. Just me wanting to know everything about every product basically. We have another foundation that I've literally been wanting to try for years and I've never purchased it. I'm looking over right now. I have so many foundations. I need to go through them and get rid of them but <laughs> I have still never tried the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. I really like stick foundations. I think they're very easy for every day or for work. For me, I have a lot of issues on my cheeks, discoloration, acne, all of that. So for me, sometimes with the stick foundation, I'll just put it on my cheek, blend it out, and I'll leave the house. Uh, so this is a stick foundation that for years people have talked about. And I feel like I still need to try it. I love the original liquid version of this. It's one of my ultimate time favorites most used. I feel like a bad person that I've never tried the stick version. I know Kathleen Lights loves the stick version. I want it. Okay, so we are down to the last and final item in my cart. This is $88. I think I did really good. Like, I managed my money where I feel like I got quite a lot of product. But anyways, this is the Tom Ford iQuad and Disco Dust. This is the next one that I am eyeing to purchase. A lot of you guys have recommended this one to me. You guys know I have an embarrassingly ridiculous Tom Ford eyeshadow collection. I don't really purchase them full price though that's the thing I bought the majority of mine on sale or at the cosmetic company store for like 60% off something ridiculous like that so it does hurt me to spend $88 up front on four shades but I think maybe the next VIB sale if I have money in the bank I want this one I want it to be paid for though with this imaginary gift card that this video is giving there are a few that I would look into picking up. I definitely also want Leopard Sun. This is like a golden one, but I feel like I have a lot of palettes with those colors. I mean, I have every color under the sun, to be honest. Disco Dust is the one I've been buying lately. Okay, anyways, so <laughs> that was today's video. That's all I have. I hope this was really fun for you guys so you can kind of see what's on my wish list, what I would irresponsibly buy if I could, and just somebody give me $1,000. If one of you wants to do it, that's okay with me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have a channel, do it. It's so fun. I often, when I'm bored, I go online shopping all the time, add items to my cart, press X, and never look back again. I never look at the card again. It never existed. So this for me was very uh, much natural to me. This is what I do. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so. That would be uh, wonderful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.